So the complaint is that all the thermostats in the whole building lost power all at once. It happened, I looked back in the trends and it happened about 2.50 p.m. 2.50 p.m. we had a guy in, installing this new controller, taking out the old Metasys, putting in Distech. So, a little bit of a correlation there. So I come in, the first thing I do is I go to the thermostats and I verify that there is no power at the thermostats. Next thing I do, since all of them have no power, I come in here and I check all these breakers. All the breakers look good. So then I'm looking for something like a time clock that would have cut them all off at the same time. I find a time clock, but I didn't see anything there that was impressive. Seems like that's probably not used anymore. So I keep poking around and I find this box. The box is full of super old relays. I say, aha, there's probably six groups of thermostats on red wire control. So then I'm looking at where, where does the control for these relays come from? And you got these conduits going out that away. And so this one just goes up to the breaker box. I don't care about that. So I come over this way and this one here comes up to this box and I open it up and there's some relays marked fan coil one and fan coil two. So there's probably two groups. It's probably like three relays and three relays. And you got the uh, wires coming in there, high voltage wires from, from there, coming in here to, um, so you got your, your normally closed and your common. So you see how that's shared there. So the blue is gonna be your 120 coming in and uh, these will be the two different sets you know, so you got a red set and a blue set. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to bypass these things because they are silly. And um, we're going to get our scheduling through the Pelican software. We don't need red wire control. So I'm going to take this blue, this red, and this other blue, and I'm going to tie them all underneath one wire nut. And we'll see if those relays come to life. And in turn, all of our thermostats come to life. Yeah, that's what you call red wire control. Typically controlled by a time clock in the old days, but then... They had Metasys in here doing it, and we replaced the Metasys with Distech, and the guy didn't realize that those did stuff. So he didn't put them back in, I bet. Okay, so I've got them all connected, and uh, as I was connecting them, because the wires were live, I heard the clicking. They started clicking, so that's good news, and then uh, all these thermostats started to come back to life. So. Um, I could have just bypassed these relays, and the way I would bypass these relays instead of using them, uh, which is probably a better long-term solution because it's, it's not needed, um, well, the way that you bypass them is to connect red with black. So the red would be the common terminal, the black is the normally open terminal, and this terminal over here, like you can see here, this terminal on top, that is the normally closed terminal so we get a better look at these you see the power come in it goes here it can run up this uh, lever whatever you want to call it and um, the coil is there in the middle that coil is round and it's a it's an electromagnet so when you energize that coil it pulls that lever in and it will connect to this one and when you don't energize the coil, when it's de-energized, it will spring back out and it will connect with that one and go that way to that screw terminal. So that's normally closed. And the coil there, you see yellow and brown would be the common. It's jumped. Well, the, all the yellows are jumped together and all the browns are jumped together. Um, so one of them is one's common and the other is power. Yep. Pretty cool old relays. If you look inside of an ice cube relay, you will see sort of a miniaturized version of the same thing. 